Hey there, I wanted to give you an update about this uh, test results on now brand of organic kelp. And I, I consider this site to be very reliable. Uh, Tamara Rubin uh, or Lead Safe Mama has been a, an, a strong advocate for making us aware of what's in our food chain relating especially to heavy metals. She is doing third party testing on the program she has had a sadly experience with herself, with her family, with heavy metal intoxication. And that's why she does this. This product, this batch, and it's good that she's identifying the lot numbers and all of that good stuff, um, had these outrageous test results. Um, here's a couple of things I want you to understand, and, and I'll put a link to this with the video. Um, an action level, so where they are proposing that the, somebody takes action to pull this supplement or this product off the market is different from what's allowable. And so what's allowable may be much higher. And here's the thing I want you to see. So five parts per billion is the proposed action level where we should be concerned and working to remove these products from our diets and from our households. Lead was okay, cadmium was astronomically high, arsenic was astronomically high. Horrifying. Evil awful now, no, that's not the deal. It now actually is a reputable company, but there are problems with so many things. So if we look at a couple of papers related to the subject. This is one looking at the evidence of elevated heavy metal concentration in wild and farmed sugar kelp in New England. And so this is a big deal. Seaweed farming is a big uh, industry and it's growing in the United States. It's bigger in other countries as well. And the problem is that our waters are contaminated. These plants are concentrating these heavy metals. So we're, this, like this says, we find, like others, that cadmium and arsenic consistently reach levels of regulatory conceal, concern and that dried seaweeds could harbor higher concentration compared to raw products, which makes sense, right? Because if you're eating seaweed as part of your diet, you're going to eat a larger amount of dried product because it's smaller and easier to add at a larger quantity. So they're, they're saying, okay, you need to aggregate information, et cetera, et cetera. I will tell you that this changes by season, by tide, by warmth of water, all of these things. And then Here's another paper saying the same thing, that the kiwiweed is, the seaweed is a great way to provide supplemental iodine because it is a huge issue in terms of thyroid function. But the same difficulty, other components in al algae such as cadmium and arsenic. What is what it is? It's pretty awful stuff. And then there's another thing this company is an incredibly good company. They've been main sea kelp, vet, sea coast veg, sea vegetables, amazing company. They've been doing really good stuff for a long time. This is wild. This is not farm stuff. But here's something I want you to understand. They're doing everything in their power to give you the healthiest product they can. So they talk about this. They talk about testing seaweed for quality, why they test what they test for, the microbes, pesticides, herbicides, et cetera, et cetera, and heavy metals. And here's the thing I want you to get. They're looking at parts per million of cadmium, lead, mercury, and inorganic forms of arsenic. These elements, again, these elements are widely distributed in the world's oceans from both natural and human sources. So testing is done annually and and they post the results. So they're being as clear and transparent as possible, which is amazing. All right, so let's see. So we're looking, we're gonna compare apples to apples and look at sugar kelp leaf. And for this product, 
And again, these are in parts per million. And if we go back to lead free mamas, uh, test results, these are action levels are in parts per billion. Now, that's a big difference. And I'll show you what that means in a moment. So if we go over here, okay, this sugar kelp has 1.6 parts per million of cadmium. Okay, what's the difference? How do I know that what that is in parts per billion and so we go over here to our very handy calculator and we put in 1.6 because we know we the the test says it has 1.6 parts per million of cadmium in the sugar leaf kelp we come over here and hit convert that's 1600 parts per billion Wow, okay, this is 380 parts per billion. That's, so this product, which, and again, none of these companies are being bad. This is just what's in the water. And because of the way these plants react, it's a problem, right? So this company, which has an amazing product, has 1,600 parts per billion, which is, almost a fourfold, actually more than a fourfold increase of cadmium levels over this now kelp product. And then if we come back over here and look at their arsenic levels, it's less than 0 0.01, which is, means that it's lower than what their machine could detect. So if we take that 0 0.1 parts per million, as an estimate, that's 100 parts per billion. And so this is the super frustrating thing. That's still higher than the proposed action level. So what does this mean? How more confusing can this get? It means that we live in a toxic world. And it means that I have to shift my thinking about whether kelp is a really healthy and safe source of iodine. In full disclosure, we're reaching out to now to get their certificates of analysis on the lots of kelp that we have. I'm praying for non-detectable that they harvested at a, these other lots at a better time. I don't know what they'll be, but this is the thing that I want you to understand. This is scary. But it's not just now kelp that's affected and impacted. And bear that in mind. And again, we live in a toxic world. What's the most important thing that you can do to protect your health and your pet's health? And that is to diminish your intake of potentially toxic products. So I hope this helps explain to you what's going on. If you've got more questions, reach out to us. We'll get them answered for you as quickly as, you, as we can. When we are able to contact now and hopefully get a certificate of analysis on heavy metals for these products, we will keep you updated. But don't be shocked when you see more of these products come up as positive. And so it comes down to how are we going to do our daily detox and you guys um, no, we've got some answers on that.